Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Vicky. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to get rid of your UTI uh, without antibiotic with a natural remedies. It is an alternative way um, instead of using your uh, modern medication antibiotic. Um, for those of whom that are open mind, this channel is for you. And for those of whom that just watch this just for entertainment purpose only, then, you know, I appreciate so very much for your time. Um, now, just uh, let's just dive in to see what I have. Uh, but before we do so, for the disclaimer, I am not your health care provider or your holistic. So if you need to consult it with your um, health care provider and your holistic, please do so before you uh, start exercise uh, this kind of activity at home alone okay um, so all of the ingredients that I'm at ease that we have in our kitchens um, it is what I have for you today is um, alum and we're gonna go into alum what is the benefit of alum right we have ginger Ginger, you can find at um, the local food store, this big bag, or at Whole Food, at Mother Market, at Trader Joe's, if you live in America. Uh, at Whole Food, one pound they sell for $3.99. Mother Market, they sell for $4.99. Um, so, um, if you decide to use all these contents at home, I suggest you use all organic ingredients. That whole big bag will last you for the entire month or much more. It, it really depends on how frequent are you going to use them. Um, um, alum, this whole bag I bought at a local Asian food store. Um, it came from Mother Nature um, for 89 cents. And this whole entire bag, you can pretty much use it for the entire month or two months. Okay, The ingredient is very inexpensive. And lastly, we have sandalwood oil. Sandalwood oil, I got this from on and um, it's about $48. It is, um, the liquid looks like clear and it's oily and it has a sander smell. So um, this particular sandalwood oil, it has the benefit of uh, healing the wound very quickly and it get rid of the bacteria. Um, so it help you to regrow the tissue that's been damaged uh, but I promise you I'll make it very helpful to you okay first up we need is a pot I use this pot so that it cook faster um, and then uh, we need a whole bunch of gingers I peel the gingers I use it about two times this much, two times this much, turn it into this. I peel off the skin and then I smash them into a fine pieces. Okay, let's just get it rolling. This pot itself contain 10 liters of water. We need 10 liters of drinking water. Here we go. 10 liters of drinking water. And if you find this content uh, helpful, like and subscribe and share, okay? I greatly appreciate that. I am going to grab another pot. I want to Add it to possibly 10 liters of water. So now we have 10 liter of water and I'm going to carry it over to the stove and I will move the uh, camera over so that you know that, uh, there we go, the fire's on and I'm gonna move the camera over this whole piece of rock like that. So as you could see, right now is boiling. Let me zoom in 
closer this boiling point right now so what I'm doing right now I'm going to add in that many pieces because we have 10 liters of water I add in that much of alum and I'll wait for it to dissolve and then I'm going to add in the ginger next stop I'm going to use the spoon, a large spoon or a scoop. I'm going to just kind of stir it up to make sure it's all dissolved. Just wait for it to boil a bit. Now, um, as you can see, it's dissolving. The water is at the boiling point right now. So let me just get it back to where it stands so it's more stable. Let me just stir it up. Okay, so now um, we add in the ginger that we smashed earlier um, so, uh, so that it's, it's cooked along with the, the liquid. All right, so it's about that much of ginger for 10 liters. Why I do the 10 liter for the, the demonstration, but if you just use it for water inducer only, then you know, add whatever the water uh, in that inducer bag, and then just modify the amount of ginger and the alum, all right? So now that the solution turned out to be like this, you don't want the ginger to be really well cooked. You just want to boil up a tiny bit. I'll stick my little pinky in to test the water or heat. It's pretty warm, but I wait for like a minute or two and then I turn off the stove to do this demonstration because it's pretty time consuming making the video and then the illustration and so on and so forth. I already make a solution earlier and I waited for it to cool down so that we can go ahead and proceed the next activity on this aspect of it. So now, pretend that the water is cooled down to, to room temperature. So it's comfortable level for us to sit in or to induce, right? So let's just pretend this is room temperature at the moment. And I'm gonna zoom out this way. I'm sorry, I have to carry you along. I'm going to zoom out this way um, to have a solution that's already done earlier today. Here we go. The solution that's already done for you today. We want to be sure to put in our sandalwood oil. Okay, individually, not in the pot, individually into the inducer or into the pot, into the bucket. So what I, how much do I need? I need about six whole tube like this. Six whole. A clean cup should work. In this case, I'm gonna use this cup, uh, white one, so I could see better. So as long as it all fill up, just stir it up, you know. Don't be afraid to touch the solution because it's all natural anyways, and it's for mother nature, and it's uh, good for our body. Okay, now it's all the way up. So, what I will do next is I'm going to cap it up with the two. Pretend that I am ready to use them. But if you are waiting uh, during the night, you have things to do and you want to get this ready to be put in your bathtub, then just cap up the, the top and then just leave it in the bathroom whenever you're ready to use it. Uncap it and then put put this on and then you're ready to use them, right? When you use them, you flip the back upside down so the liquid can come out from the tube. Okay, there you have it. Now for male, what I do is I'm going to stir up the pot and this the other pot is about to be ready so I'm going to turn off the, the stove on that then I'm going to use this 
So let's just fill it all the way to the top for the demonstration purpose. I'm sorry about the crapping noise, but uh, there's no other way around it. There, Gen gentlemen, bacteria infections, UTI, any other infection, just put six drops in, six times, not six drops. There, you can sit and watch the TV and soak yourself in here, okay? This is for male soak in. The remainder, I'm gonna put into the bucket. For female to soak in the bottom. It is okay with just a little, you know, a little bit of, uh, of uh, ginger fall into the bucket, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my hand to squeeze out the, the solution from the ginger and so that not much of the ginger fall into there. Okay, we're almost there, okay? Be patient with me. There you go. And you have this left over here, just toss it away. And then now you're done. Then you basically almost done. Can you imagine? Thank you so much for being so patient and, and help me uh, get through this process. So we put six top, two, three, four, Five, six. This is all for bedtimes, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and all the folks that are watching this. Those folks that find this content helpful, entertaining, consider like and subscribe and share. I greatly appreciate you so very much for being so patient. Um, here, this is the, the solution, how it looks like. So it's ready for you to soak in, ladies that have UTI. Um, all right um, so uh, again I wish you all the uh, great health uh, in the week and days to come and um, again like and subscribe and share uh, I have a video released every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. in uh, standard Pacific times um, please um, check out those video Again, uh, I'm so grateful for all your love and for all your support. This is my love from me to you. And from you to me, like and subscribe and share. Thank you so much again.